Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Internet Trade. My name is Robin, and let's do an Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. Uh, today, Bank Nifty was pretty okay than what it used to be before. Uh, it gave some up move, so I had a put short uh, through the algo. Uh, so we have made an option selling algo also on the same strategy. Uh, but the idea of making is. Uh, you know, these days the market is pretty sideways and it is very difficult to make money through option buying. So this uh, entire consolidation, you know, saved us and also the breakout gave us the target. So so what we can see in Bank Nifty is a pretty good opening. Uh, so it opened gap up. It did not even attempt to fill the gap. So that's how bullish it was and then it gave a breakout in the second half so which is happening recently every now and then but then at the last 30 minutes a sharp selling okay so this is the range that bank nifty was trading and it gave a solid breakout like i always say that there should be a follow through candle so in the 15 minutes also there is a follow through and it went directly up and the sharp selling came down okay uh, but there is a candlestick uh, study that i'm going to tell you uh, in this weekend so based on that ideally at this place you can expect a gap up okay and when this candle's low is breached then the market becomes a little bearish okay and i was surprised to see that sgx nifty is already trading 150 points above okay, so there is a possibility of the gap up and let's see uh we'll discuss what are the levels that we need to trade tomorrow and both of them have formed doji or a spinning top kind of a candle both nifty and bank nifty so i'll have to switch off my indicators okay so if you remember like uh, we were talking about this 18254 level which was a resistance which we planned here and yesterday we discussed that if you open within this range then you can trade sideways here and that's what it did it came down gave a strong bounce then came back to the same level up. okay So now what do we do? Uh, let's discuss the data first. That will give us a fair idea what big players have planned. So if you look at FIs, uh, they have added 11,000 longs in index futures and they've also added 8,000 shorts in index futures. This looks like uh, rollovers for the next month expiry. And if you look at options, uh, call short is less, but call long is more. Okay. And what is surprising is put long is also more because this is 81,953 put long that was created, but against that, there is no short. Okay. So this itself is a problem. So this means that if tomorrow we get a gap up, there is a high chance that we may see the market coming down. And also pros have net short on calls and a little bit of short on the puts. So both of them are somewhat similar, but looks like FII's knew that the market could open gap up tomorrow. That's why they are holding longs in the calls also. So if it opens gap up, uh, FIs will book profits in the call longs that they have and put longs, they definitely have to take care of and the quantity is huge, okay? And similarly, the quantity is huge for call shots from pros. So definitely the market has to give a dip. So this is what we are going to plan tomorrow. If we look at the net position of them, it looks more of bearish. FIs put create long and pros are called create short. 
now we need to identify which could be the level that we need to trade so first let's discuss nifty uh, so we already have a resistance formed here okay the resistance is 18 18 300 to 18300 to 18320 is our resistance okay so you can just draw a line here or maybe you can draw a trend line here that is also fine okay so only so what we are going to do here is i think uh, let me just put a small horizontal line here Okay, so 18, 3, 20, 25, this is going to be a resistance and uh, this is the point where we got rejected. So tomorrow if we open within this area, if we open above, then that's a problem. Okay, so we may see it consolidating a bit and whenever it gives a breakout is when we'll trade. Okay. Otherwise, uh, so we'll discuss all the scenarios. Please listen to it carefully. Imagine we open here. Okay. We open here. Then, if it is immediately coming down, then we'll enter into a put trade. Okay. So, what we exactly see here is right at 18350, you need to see a red candle, and immediately the next red candle should close below it. This is the confirmation that. They are ready to go on the downside. So you just wait for a retracement until the first candles high or maybe 50% uh, of that level. You enter into a put trade. This is your SL. You sit and relax. It should come down to 18.254. Okay, so that should be your target, the first target. And the second target should be 18.200. Okay, but we'll book it 18.254. Uh, because again we may see a bounce and that bounce may eat up the premium because it's expiry tomorrow this is scenario one second scenario is we open around 18 300 to 320. what do we do here same thing we wait for a red candle to form and if the next red candle gives a close below the first red candle we wait for a small retracement enter into the put around 18320 your target should be 18250 this is scenario number two now the third scenario is imagine it opens gap up and it immediately puts a very big red candle then the trading opportunity is gone completely okay then the market will form a small doji kind of a candle here slow and steady they'll go up they'll come down they'll go up they'll go to day high they'll come down and they'll probably trade within this range at least for the first half or maybe around 12 12 30. what is more important to uh, hear is uh, the option premiums are pretty low okay uh, so they are low premiums the reason is india wix being very low so today it was trading below 30 but surprisingly the last hour of selling it came up uh, above 14 and this can increase okay so when that would increase is due to this red candle so again if you think that it is going up and in this place you can definitely take a put trade okay so so that we don't miss uh, the fall again so put we should only attempt around 18300 is the idea in case of a gap up so this is all about gap up scenarios if we open gap down then the market can be sideways then your range is 18200 to this particular swing which is around 18280 then the entire day nifty would be sideways and you will not see much of a momentum so we'll just uh, probably look for a strangle or something like that Okay. So this is my view on Nifty. Uh, flat opening, if we have to discuss, then 
if we open flat and if it gives a breakdown this is a very sluggish trade actually uh, because we are in a bull market at the moment and just because FIIs have bearish positions so see this is a trend line and we just have one candle close here so if they break down definitely they both have uh, you know bearish positions but they'll have to pump in additional money to take it down okay and the problem here is uh, people will not take opposite positions because people have already seen their positions okay so hence there will be a long consolidation that can happen so we'll only trade the breakout if it gives after 12 pm okay so that should be a plan if it opens gap down or flat also so flat opening then if it comes down it will immediately take support and start going up so this is a problem that we can face so how do we trade a flat opening like i said uh, if it comes down let it come down then it can definitely bounce back and that bounce back will go and take the trade of the put side or if it consolidates then we'll trade the breakout or the breakdown okay take the help of option chain definitely on the expiry day to understand where the big players are trading now let's quickly discuss bank nifty so bank nifty now has a short term resistance of uh, this level which is around 42850 okay this is going to be a strong resistance even for tomorrow uh, so any gap up around 42800 or something like that uh, that will be a very good opportunity for us to take the put trade okay so we'll take put and the target that we should expect is around 42 6 uh this level is around 640 this should be a target uh below this the market will consolidate and then give a breakdown i'm not sure if that can happen if with this particular gap up so in case if it consolidates and give a breakdown you can take a small a quantity trade here for this gap filling which can happen at 42 500 but this is just about 140 points move so it's your wish if you need to uh, you know, go for that and if bank nifty opens flat then again uh, the problem is it will consolidate in this small range and uh, if that happens it is good all that you have to do is wait for a proper breakout or a breakdown and then you can either enter into a call or put if you're entering into a call the target should be 42 800 if you're entering into a put at this place you can actually uh, put a target of 42 450 and uh, yeah you just get a 200 points move on the downside so this should be a plan if it is opening flat imagine it opens gap down then if it is a gap down then it is going to be a dull market uh, it will not even fill the gap then i think it will trade between 42 450 to 42 600 that's it so it will trade within this range so you can probably plan a strangle or something when the market comes into the midpoint okay so this is my view on both nifty and bank nifty for tomorrow I hope it is clear. Take the help of option chain definitely on an expiry day because it helps us to understand better where the big people are. So in the closing hour, Bank Nifty still shows the OIPCR as a bullish one, but it is definitely not because uh, I think a lot of people will not uh, have been able to cover their put shots. So in case if market opens gap up, then there is a high possibility they may start covering their put shots. And uh, if it opens gap up and you see strong writing on the put side, then that is an indication that uh, they are trying to keep the market on the upper level for some time so that they can build some additional position. So keep an eye on that. Uh, okay, I think uh, that's it pretty much clear. Nifty is already, uh, you know, in the bearish zone. So high possibility Nifty may consolidate. Uh, 
एंड बैंक निफ्टी में बी वॉलेटाइल बट अगेन इट डिपेंड्स यू नो वेयर इट ओपन एग्जैक्टली सो एनी वेज आई थिंक वी वेरी मच हैव ऑल दी एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑन ऑल दिस सिनारियोज दैट वी हैव प्लान दैट शुड सर्व द पर्पज थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग लेट्स मीट इन अंडर वीडियो टेन टेक केयर बाय